In this lesson, we are going to continue to look at the relationship between area and scale factors. In the previous lesson, there was an activity, if you were one of my students with the study guide, uh, where we discovered this, um, that the relationship between scale factor and area is that if you have any original area, you would multiply it by the scale factor squared if you'd like to discover the new area. Okay, uh, so that's, that's what we learned. So we want to see if that applies. If you have your study guide open, we're going to do another activity together, and it says try it on your own. We're going to see if that works for any shapes, because we've only seen that that works for rectangles. So we're going to see if we can apply that to circles and if it's true. So if you have your study guide open, it says try it. I'll introduce this activity, and then I'll, I'll ask you to pause the video and try the rest of this uh, table yourself. So it says complete the table below to see if the relationship between the scale factor and the area of the rectangles also applies to circles. So we want to see if this applies to all types of shapes. Now here's the idea. We have an original and it has a radius of 4. So we've got a circle with a radius of 4. If you need a diagram, here's what it is. Okay, radius of 4. Uh, the area of a circle is pi r squared, so it's 3.14 times 4 times 4, which is 50.24 centimeters squared. So the rest of the table, or I'll do the next one with you, uh, if we use a scale factor of 2, so our original is 4, so with a scale factor of 2, we'd have a radius that was 8. Okay, and the area here would be 3.14 times 8 times 8. So we're just, we're just finding out the area of these new circles. And that would be 200.96. Okay. Now, uh, the question here is, to get the area of the new circle, what would you multiply the area of the original circle by? So how do I go from the area of 50.24 to the area of 200.96? And we discovered in the last one, we can just divide those in the last activity. If we divide those, we're finding out that it would be 4. Okay. So I'd multiply the original area by 4 to get it. Okay, in the next one, I'm going to use a scale factor of 5, and then I'll ask you to pause it. A uh, scale factor of 5, if this was 5 times larger, would have a radius of 20. Okay, so you may want to try and finish this off yourself, and pause the video right now, and maybe finish off this table. Okay, uh, if you have finished off the table, this is kind of what you will see. If not, you're going to have to pause this and copy it down yourself. Uh, you should have these applications. So here's the radius given the scale factor, so the original radius being 4. I found out the areas of each, and I found out what you would multiply the original by in order to get the area of the new shape. <clears throat> so what we're asking ourselves, and this is the conclusion piece here, is the conclusion that you found at the bottom of the previous page, so the previous activity or the previous YouTube lesson, also true for circles? So in other words, is this here, because we found out that the original times the scale factor squared is equal to, this is the original area, is equal to the new area. So in other words, am I multiplying the original area by the scale factor squared? So is are all of these, so that's what these are, are all of these the scale factor squared? And the answer to that question is yes. This is 2 squared. See here there's the scale factors. This is 5 squared. This is 0 0.5 squared. And this is 1 quarter squared. Or in other words, 0 0.25 squared. So the answer to this is yes. And in the next lesson, after we finish off the key ideas, uh, we're going to be applying this knowledge. So the key ideas that we've learned from the previous two lessons uh, activities is this. And we use a different letter for scale factor if you're using the same textbook as us, but it doesn't really matter. But here's the idea. If a shape is enlarged or reduced by a scale factor, we use the letter k in this course, then the area of the new shape is k squared of the original shape. Or in other words, <clears throat> and this is something you're going to want to copy down, here's the big idea. The original area... So I'll put a rectangle around it. This is the big idea of the first two activities. The original area times the scale factor squared will always give you the new area. And for future parts, here's some formulas that are also in your textbook because we're going to be dealing with lots of areas. 
The area of a triangle is base times height divided by 2. The area of a rectangle is length times width. So just review for you in the next sections. The area of a parallelogram is base times height. And the area of a circle is pi times radius squared.